so maybe measurement when you do a mass screening oscillometric methods measurement is used but when we do in our clinical practice you have to do the auscultatory method only that is confirmed in case you take the first bp measurement and you feel it is high if it is high like somewhere between stage 1 you'll have to repeat the bp recordings you need at least 3 bp recordings in a week apart only then you have to stage or only then you will have to label as hypertension and there is an exception for this in case the child comes to you with an hypertensive emergency with other complications then you should not wait for repeated bp measurements you will have to start your management so a diagnosis of hypertension should be made only with three separate bp recordings at least a week apart hypertensive emergency is an exception when it comes to bp measurements in pediatric practice the most important thing is selection of an appropriate size cuff because in adults it's not an issue at all we have a standardized adult cuff but in the pediatric age the cuff sizes varies so always have the different size cuffs in your practice and the bp cuff you have to look at the bladder size the bladder length and bladder width the bladder width should be approximately 40% of the child's arm circumference and the bladder length should be 80% of the arm circumference this is an approximately you can measure and then choose the correct sized cuff appropriate sized cuff is very very important when you choose a very small cuff that will lead to high bp recordings which are false this is a new concept abpm that is ambulatory blood pressure measurements so this is the cuff and this is the ambulatory bp device so what are the indications of ambulatory bp monitoring say if the blood pressure is elevated for more than 1 year especially in a pediatric age group you do an ambulatory bp monitoring or when there is white coat hypertension or a masked hypertension you should always write for abpm and in special situations like a chronic kidney disease or a post transplant patient also abpm is done 